Molish tests for uh, detection of carbohydrates. Uh, so Molish reagent this 5% solution of alpha naphthol and 95% alcohol. That is the uh, reagent needed and uh, additionally uh, we need concentrated sulfuric acid as well as carbohydrate. Thus uh, we have taken uh, glucose, 1% solution of glucose uh, as uh, carbohydrate. Now we are adding uh, approximately 2 ml of uh, uh, glucose solution, 1% glucose solution uh, to a test tube. Uh, you can hold it in the left hand uh, while adding. Uh, now this uh, to this 2 ml approximately 2 ml we need not take it in a, uh, a pipette while adding we add here we add molish reagent two three drops of molish reagent is added to 2 ml of approximately 2 ml of glucose and uh, shaken well so it has to be shaken very well now after which concentrated sulfuric acid is added using a pipette carefully that is a concentrate this is a concentrated sulfuric acid now it is added uh, through the sides of the test tube drop by drop so that uh, it forms a, a, a layer beneath the beneath the sugar solution so in between uh, we can already see a purple colored uh, ring appearing between the two solutions like this so you can add a few more drops of sulfuric acid so that uh, the the separation will be very clear and the ring can be seen uh, in a better way so this is the ring you can see it this is a positive uh, reaction for a Molish test. In Molish test, a purple colored ring indicates a positive reaction or presence of carbohydrates. Now actually, a carbohydrate uh, gets dehydrated by concentrated H2SO4 to give uh, a furfural derivative. Uh, actually, furfural uh, derivative namely hydroxymethyl uh, furfural. And this actually, the hydroxymethyl furfural reacts with alpha naphthol present in the rea uh, reagent, uh, that is Molish reagent, uh, to give this purple colored ring. And an absence of purple colored ring actually indicates absence of carbohydrate in the given solution. Thank you.